What do you think about this cotton heads? About ready to go? Yeah, I think we can start. Oh, I think it looks up. good. Around the world, this fluffy stuff is known as white gold. This is what it's all about. This is cotton. Is a hibiscus a plant related to all the ornamental hibiscuses that people have in their house gardens or parks. The cotton bowl is actually the fruit of the plant. So you can see as I'm pulling it apart, the fibres are super fine and they're elongated and it's that characteristic that enables those fibres to be spun and turned into to yarn and so it's able to be used. It's these strong and durable fibres that make it perfect for reinforcing the lever of our footballs. It's just a really versatile product. You can make, you know, things as tough as jeans and then you can make super delicate dress shirts and you know, sheets and undergarments. And then that's only the fibre. You can get lots of the things from the seed as well. You can use it for cattle feed, but then also there's different cotton seed oils. Basically, you use so much of the whole plant. For thousands of years, this delicate crop was harvested by hand to preserve its fragile fibres, a practice that is tragically entwined with a dark history of slavery. But now, these aggressive-looking monster machines do the picking of these delicate cotton tufts. There's 3,360 spindles that run on the machine, and the way that they work is that they poke in and out at a super-fast pace as they're also travelling around at the same time. They might look like spinning daggers, but actually they're surprisingly gentle. The spindles will basically poke you know, into the plant. They will pull the cotton fibre off. The soft bowls are then sucked up and compacted to make one full round. And you can see in the camera, I am dropping one off the back, which is roughly two and a half tonne. For the um, harvesting machinery can, can pick the cotton, the cotton has to be dry. Uh, the moisture has to be less than 12%. If cotton is packed away too wet in excess of 12%, it will heat and spontaneously combust because the bacteria within the fibre becomes active. It, it can create enough heat and modules can catch fire. We export a whopping 99% of what we produce. Now, while there are loads of benefits to using cotton, it is a water-guzzling crop, drawing many critics. New innovations in irrigation technology have gone some way to addressing the problem. Today, there's a lot of technology in, in how we irrigate. Most growers use, use probes in the fields. It's, you know, it essentially puts a, puts a fuel gauge on your water source. It, it means that you monitor daily how much water the, the cotton is using, and we're much more efficient than, than we used to be. Uh, this module of cotton was grown with about half the water that it would have used 40 years ago to grow the same weight of cotton. These farms are all shaped by years of hard work and a passion for the land. I love it. I mean, you couldn't do it if you didn't love it because <laughs> it does say it's a, you know, they're long days and long hours. There is something about cotton picking at sunset that just it makes you fall in love, it's beautiful.